Hey everybody, it's me, Diogen Z, here with a huge eBay collectibles video. Today, we've got 32 Pokemon to go over. Some of them legit, some of them illegit. Like this Mr. Mime on a snowboard. Apparently, it is the alleged CGTSJ Tomy. Always made in China, of course. However, it seems bent. Also seems a little discolored, and uh, the same goes for this Golduck. I remember seeing the real figure of Golduck from Tomy being a bit darker. Not complaints, just observations. This is a great haul, if you will, of pokes to get. I don't even know what the 4th gen manufacturer would be labeled as, but looks pretty good. Looks pretty painted to the true form. However, this one, not so much. But whenever you get like an assortment of pokes like these and the seller doesn't normally sell stuff like this, you can tell it's not really with malice that they sell it. It's just like, this is the stuff that they had. And you can tell because of the usage marks. I mean, these are used figures. These were probably... <laughs> I just want to point this out. Tony, not Tommy. It's Tony. Hey, Tony, can you make me some Pokemon A? We're going gonna to sell it on eBay as Jankamon, and we're going to even label it as CGTSJ, but we're going to get Tommy wrong, and we're going to call him Tony. Another work of uh, the famous uh, Poke Pizza maker, Tony. And it is a trap inch that is actually pretty good. The only thing I would complain about is that it doesn't stand on its own. But you know what this reminds me of? This figure reminds me of that, that big-headed alien. I really don't even know what his name is, but there's a video game where he destroys all humans and everything else. Here's another Tony figure. A lot of the uh, third-gen figures I got in this pack are Tony, but again, this worked out pretty well. I find that pokes that don't have complex eyes, so Trap Inch, the gem shapes, and Sableye, uh, they don't really have a lot of problems. This is a pretty good looking Talo, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, markings are Tony. So Tony's a pretty good uh, figure designer when it comes to some folks. He's got the third gen nailed down. But let me show you where he doesn't have it nailed down. It's a, oh, it's a cute looking, adorable Azumarill. Don't you just want to pinch those cheeks? What the freak is with its face? Now, thankfully, I have a legitimate uh, Azumarill to just shockingly compare it to. Uh, everything is cool until you get to the back. Um, now, here we go. This is the real one. That's Tomy. This is the fake one that says Tomy. It's not even Tony. But when you turn the face, the frightening truth is apparent. What is with this one's face? Its nose? It's crazy! There we go. Look at that. It has nostrils. And this Azumarill has just a cute little dot and lips that are like, me, I'm adorable. But this one is horrible. It will eat you when you sleep. All right, enough of that. You're probably going to get nightmares now seeing that awful Azumarill. You're going to have dreams of catching one, and bam, it turns around. And it's the awful figure! This is another Tony rendition. The Tony's kind of hard to see. I'm not really wanting to break its wings, but it's on the inside there. Trust me, I checked. This Grump Pig is another model of Tony. But again, I will tell you, when it comes to eyes, it's hard to do sometimes. Again, these just look creepy, you know? And all it takes is just one mark or one nose that isn't true to the poke and it will look janky as fuck. Uh, here's a Spinda that's pretty derpy. Another model of Tony. So I guess Tony's kind of slipping up now when it comes to uh, the complex eyes. Like I said, it is where most of these figure fakes will fall. And then you've got the Haunch Crow, which it looks pretty cool to me. Um, I can't really... I mean, I know the eye is not true to Haunch Crows, but I can't complain. It looks pretty badass, and Haunch Crow is already a creepy poke as it stands. So to give it a weird pupilless thing, not too bad. Oh, and this one is adorable. It's so funny. It's Shuppet as a dog. Do 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 do. I'm a Shuppet puppet as a dog. And I do believe this is a Tony figure. It is indeed. 
So Tony strikes again. Uh, I actually like this guy's taste when it comes to Shuppets. Got Perugly with numbers on his butt. Again, eyes are a little weird. So really, all I'm saying is that it is the buyer's duty to double check on things such as this. See if this is legit. Seems pretty legit. Seems like the regular paint job. This also is another shot at a Tomy. Maybe not. Copy. Let's see. I don't know where... Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it to display, but I did get a Mew recently. And it looks slightly different from that one that I just dropped on the ground. Uh, now this one also says it's official Tomy. Pretty hard to tell. It looks legit. Too legit. Too legit to quit and a happy knee. Which looks pretty happy to be holding its egg. And we got Shinx. So definitely make sure that before you buy any piece of poke merchandise especially if it's for official collecting business you know just make sure that it's got multiple shots those who are legitimate tend to want to show you every angle to make sure you know it's legitimate now to me Gallade's eyes look a tad off but pretty damn close licky licky there we go that's now in focus to go along with my lick tong This one's a nice weight as well. And that's what I'm talking about, you know? You may not even find the legitimate figures you're looking for, like this Fampy, for example. Um, it says, I believe, on the bottom, all the things we like to see. However, just the way the lines are formed in it, these lines and the lines down the center, makes me a little suspicious, but still, it's an awesome figure. So if you're just collecting for the sake of, I want, say, a Deoxys, then it really doesn't matter if it's legitimately Tomy. Although this one is a little bit of a lazy paint job, so I can tell the back symbol there is not painted in. And also, let's see if we could get you close enough. There we go. The eyes don't have anything going on. No pupils, nothing. But an easy fix with like a little marker, ink pen, so again, not too horribly uh, dissatisfied with that one. Here's another one of those classic Tony models. I just find it so funny that they even bother to put in the CG TSJ. But then Tony! Hey Tony, you working from Nintendo now? Not a bad Reg Ice figure, you know, like I said. It is pretty clear that it's easy to copy pokes that don't have complex eyes, although the back of this is kind of strange. It looks like he just, like, forgot, like, oh yeah, he's got Iceberg coming out of his back, so just glue that on in the back and that'll do, that'll do. These look pretty good to their actual models, you know, their their actual designs. Let's look at these up close. Here's the Palkia. Perhaps you could say maybe its eye is slightly off, but it's really hard to tell since, since its eye is so small cool to have this as a full-sized thing. I had a stylus with a Palkia on it before, but, uh, you know, that's a stylus, not a full-on figure. Like this badass Empoleon. Again, you really can't see any of the eye work in there, um, but that might be something to disauthenticate it. I don't really care, though, because they're so cool. Infernape looks pretty cool, which is good, because I've seen some goofy looking Infernapes before. And this one is pretty true to its form. And then this Torterra is pretty cool. It's got like earthquake slamming pose action going on there. And there's its tree growing out of its back where it should be. Fantastic figure. So, quite satisfied with that. Then there's Darkrai which looks pretty good to me. Again, the eye is probably the only thing you could complain about, and then there's like a little speck of dot, but the user mentioned, or rather, the seller mentioned that they were used, so can't really fault them for that. Such good figures. If I was a kid and had these toys back in the day, I'm sure I would use them plenty, 
battle with them and probably smear the paint jobs, just as has happened. So, all in all, we got these many Pokemons. That's a lot. 32 is a big number to see all on camera, jumbled up. I'm not even going to take the time to stand them all up because I just don't want to do it. So, that is this set of pokes. Go check out the seller. Go support them because, hey, they gave you some content on this channel to watch. And uh, who knows, maybe you'll find something that you've been searching for. All in the eBay collectibles. I'll see you next time.